Yeah, hello, my name is David Milzo. I'm a professional saxophonist, teacher and educator from Hanover, Germany. Welcome to this clip and to uh, my YouTube channel. Please feel to be invited to subscribe my YouTube channel. In this video, we got the following topic. Low B flat versus low A baritone saxophone. Which one is better? And I can say even now, no one is better. And the reason why, I will explain in this video. First, uh, some remarks, general remarks about what do I compare with each other. On the one side, on the one hand, is the Con 12M low B flat baritone saxophone here. This is this instrument is um, from around the mid 60s. And on the other hand, we got the Con 11M low A baritone saxophone, where the key now is moving here we got the famous low A extension made by Con. This is instrument is from around the mid end 70s. So 10 15 years younger than this instrument on the other side. Some general remarks um I uh, for a better comparison I just use one and the same uh, mouthpiece. In this case, it's my Otto Link number 10 Otto Link vintage mouthpiece, and I use um, hard four and a half Rigotti jazz reeds on it. And some general uh, some general remarks about the comparison here to have an objective uh, way. To judge about low B flat and low A, you have to use the same kind of instruments from the same company. In this case, obviously, uh, we got here uh, two cons. Um, you can also use a low A Martin Magna if you can grab one uh, versus uh, a low B flat Martin from the same era. Or possible, uh, poss another possibility is to um, get a Bischer low A and a Bischer low B flat. Uh, from the contemporary manufacturers, we got uh, Selma, Kyworth, and uh, P. Moriat. It w one thing wouldn't make any sense. For example, you you grab a, a contemporary let's say Yana Gisawa low A baritone saxophone and for a comparison you would take uh, a horn like this a con B flat uh, baritone saxophone there you have a totally another discussion uh, it's not wouldn't be the uh, uh, just half step uh, sound difference it would be a, a discussion about white bore vintage baritone saxophones versus smaller bore um, contemporary instruments. So another discussion and another debate. Here we got the Con brand. Both instruments share the same characteristics. White bore, the same keywork with that one exception. Um, I will play for you a tune now just to have the direct sound comparison. I start with the Con 12M low B flat horn here and I will play for you a tune written by Duke Ellington for his one of his star soloists, uh, Harry Carney. Uh, this tune is called Frustration and it features the whole range from the instrument from low B flat to high F. Have fun with this excerpt of frustration.
a horn, same mouthpiece, Here we are, the direct comparison, low B flat versus low A um, horn. I would describe some differences between the uh, two horns here. The low B flat horn seems to be a little bit more open in the sound, a little bit more, let's say, airy, a little bit more slightly darker in a way. And... Um, on the other hand, the low A horn seems to be a little bit more, let's say, direct in the sound, a little bit more metallic-like, a little bit more clear in a way, still got slightly some airness in the sound. And uh, this is my impression, and I guess you will, you will hear it also here in the video too. And uh, yeah, the question now is, how does it happen? From, from what comes the differences? Uh, from what came the differences? And my exp explanation that uh, the low A horn is still a little, bit, a little bit brighter, maybe a little bit more cleaner, more a little bit more hard edged in a way. My explanation is that these this really long bell is the reason for it because um, in this era area here where is nothing on the low B flat horn if you compare this uh, it's really obvious what the difference is here the much longer bell here um, leads to some reflections here on, in this area here and this uh, leads in my opinion to a, a little bit more hard-edged a little bit more clear sound and um, another aspect is that you because of the longer bell you got the sound more near to uh, your ears of the players ears and um, this is ex explains this uh, sound dif these sound differences but i guess they are not so dramatic as you might would expect and uh, this is basically the bottom line here there are some differences in the sound but they are not so wide or uh, tremendous or whatever you uh, mean um i guess um nobody would have expected it like this and um, yeah so far my explanation for this sound difference and um, another topic is the following um, about low a american brand horns vintage american brand horns vintage large bore american brand horns especially also uh, about the uh, Conlo M. There's the rumor or the prejudice that a low B flat, a low B, a low C, a low D sh uh, C sharp or D flat would th uh, would sound thin on a horn like this. And let's have a look if it's true. I start with low A. Low B flat. Low 
I didn't hear any thin notes in this area at all. So I guess this is just the typical nonsense you can read sometimes. You could read sometimes on the internet in different uh, uh, internet discussions. Um, so I guess there is no issue about a vintage low A baritone saxophone at all. I guess this is also the same here with uh, Büscher and Martin uh, instruments. Basically, this rumor comes from um, from this extension here. Basically, because basically the uh, this one here is uh, basically a um, B-flat horn just with this extension. But there is no disadvantage at all in a construction uh, like this. And uh, yeah, just, just the opposite, I guess. Here you got both words, the big fat con sound in general. Both instruments share it, of course. The big ballsy, fat, dark, slightly airish, um, and a slightly airish sound of the con instrument, but with a strong core and a very heavy dynamic. Uh, um, and uh, yeah, this makes it so special. In general, um, of course, of the sound differences which exist be between uh, both horns, there's a certain direction where, where you can say, okay, I would use it in this music or in the other music stylistic. Um, in general, everything which uh, every music from the 30s to 60s, let's say, big band music, Duke Ellington, Count Basie, of course, the Con 12M, um, you, you don't get wrong with that. Um, also for combo swing or acoustic jazz, of course, you can use the low B-flat instrument. On the other hand, there is no reason uh, to vote against uh, the low A instrument here. On the other hand, because of the more compact sound of this low instrument, in my opinion, it's a little bit more compact because of the longer bell, um, this instrument fits slightly better into a, uh, in, for the playing in, in a horn section, three-piece, four-piece, five-piece horn section. And um, because of the compactness of the sound, maybe you, uh, you would use it more in a, let's say, electric or solely content music stuff. And of course, when you need in your contemporary big band arrangement where low A is written, you would take, of course, a low A baritone saxophone. Um, at the end, my conclusion of everything here is, as I said in the beginning, um, there is no better or better or better in, uh, in this instruments when you compare it them when you compare them uh, directly together the differences i've already described it or i've already described them it's just at the end it's just your taste how do you feel and what do you want in the situation where you play and i have to be honest i can't uh, decide really so i play both and i love them both and for yeah for this uh, conclusion, I will play 
a last tune. In this case, it's written by me. If you like to hear it in uh, in action with band, please check out my last CD recording, album recording, The Screen Club Plays Greatest Hits and more, Volume 2 featuring David Milzo. This tune is called Very Cool. It features the low, lower register and the middle register, some subtone playing, and I hope you enjoy. from my side. I hope you enjoyed this clip until here. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Stay healthy. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye from Germany. Music